Hey guys, the following video is brought to you by American Collectors Insurance. Stick around towards the end for some more information. Uh, my name is David Almanzan, and this is my 1986 Pontiac Fiero SE. And we are here for the SVRA weekend event at Coda. We've had the car for 12 years. This is actually a junkyard rescue. Um, we purchased it in 2008, February 2008. And um, it was about to be crushed at the, uh, at the junkyard that, that same day. So um, it was already in the pile to be, to be demolished and uh, sent to the, to, to the scrapyard. And um, actually it's already, it's got battle scars from, from that day. Uh, and we saved it from the pile and made the deal and took her home. Um, originally, well, it hadn't ran for about 10 years prior to that. So um, it was in the late 90s that it was last driven. So we wanted to go throughout the whole drivetrain and the suspension and brakes uh, to make sure that it was safe to put on the road. For about six months, uh, it stayed in the garage as, as we worked on it and got it uh, back roadworthy. Uh, after we got all the uh, all the suspension components and engine components uh, taken care of, we worked on a little bit of aesthetics to uh, just to bring out a little bit of shine and 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 get her out on sunny days like this. Well, um, what I enjoy most about the Fiero platform is that it's a little bit different, but yet still fits in within the American style of the 80s. Originally, some people from the front end think it's a Trans Am, and from the rear, people think it's a Toyota MR2, um, and often I get. Uh, especially younger younger generation younger younger people that uh, they get surprised because it's a mid-engine vehicle and uh, they they think hey the only mid-engine car out there is the uh, Corvette C8 <laughs> but there was one way before that so <laughs> a tip for somebody getting into Fieros um, is to not lose your patience and never expect perfection uh, because after uh, once you expect perfection that's when you lose the fun in, in the uh, in the process well, the reason why it's important to keep the battle scars and not, again, look, looking for perfection, um, it's because it has has that uh, that value to me from um, the past uh, decade or so that um, I know what's happened to it here and there. Um, it's not a new car, so I have history with it, and the history comes along with it just like your life. You can't change your past. <laughs> um, well, 2008 was a very special year because uh, that's when I, I met my wife with this car and we had a lot of memories building this car together, uh, getting her back on the road. So uh, throughout all of 2008, every minute that we had, uh, aside from working and sleeping, was spent playing around with this vehicle here. Um, it, it helps out on the way that uh, she understands when I need certain things for the car. Um, but it also, uh, the downside to it is that she knows what is a need and what is a want. <laughs> <laughs> this this vehicle is uh is, is gonna stay with me until uh, uh who knows what will happen to either the car or myself <laughs> all right go to www.americancollectors.com to get your free quote today and see how much you can save thanks for watching